Hey guys, so some bad news. The boat is a mess because we have to tear everything out of one of our hatches and then subsequently tear out everything from the other hatches because we found, well, some mold on some of our stuff. So we kept digging and at the bottom of the hatch was a nice thick layer of water. So we're just trying to figure out where the water's coming from. So I cleared all, all the water and it seems to be seeping in very gradually but still very consistently. So I'm trying to figure out if it's our fresh water tank in the front or if it's coming in from our hull, which would be uh, either one is gonna suck. There's only so many places the water can be coming from. It did rain, so it's possible it seeped in somewhere where I can't see it in the front, very front of the boat. I'm trying to find the leak. There's a leak down at the bottom of this hatch here. Unfortunately, this big cushion uh, makes it a little difficult because the entire rest of the boat is filled with junk from our hatches. So we kind of have to just push it over right now. And the front hatch, all you see is about this much space and then the water tank. So you can't see anything without actually cutting out this entire V-berth to see what's underneath it. I think that's going to be our next major project is cutting out our water tank to see if we're leaking underneath our water tank. Not getting out the water tank, maybe we're on it. Well, <laughs> cutting out the top of what's holding in our V-berth, which means we won't be able to sleep in our V-berth anymore until we find out what's going on with that water. So as you can tell we got our mattress pulled out and stuff sort of cleaned up because we've narrowed down our tank problem to our V-berth here. This hatch is still leaking a little bit. Our water tank is pretty much empty so I have a feeling there's water underneath our tank. Right down here we've got some water in that wood and when I squeeze, the water that comes out, it's dripping. Not good. So water is coming in. At first we thought it was from the water tank, which would have been terrible because they pretty much end up putting the water tank in the boat and then fiberglassing and doing everything over top. So the only way of getting that one out would have been to pretty much cut our whole bed open. But after opening the little hatch at our feet, we realized that there was a bunch of water right at the, well, underneath our anchor locker at the top. So we had a lot of rain the other day, so probably what happened, water was coming in from here somewhere. That's disgusting in here. Oh yeah, yummy. And you can't see very well. Yeah. So guys, we'll take a look at the problem, try to figure it out, but it seems like it's coming from our anchor locker, like Alex was saying earlier. Yeah, you can so, see water coming in from the front. So there we go. We've narrowed it down at least to our anchor locker, I think. We're going to spray a bit of water and see if we can get it to uh, to re redo the same circumstance that happened when it rained the other night. Oh yeah. There's water coming in from everywhere. It's terrible. The vent, you can see the caulking is lifting up the, the marine silicone they used here isn't holding to the fiberglass. Our drain hole for our anchor locker, I think that's where most of the problem is coming from. There's a drain, but it's not completely sealed. There's some bare wood right around that hole that needs to be sealed up, and it's a little bit soft, so. I bet you water was coming in from there. There's like no silicone. So there is a lot of projects on the boat and I think we're going to start attacking the anchor locker because it's really moldy and I've been like super stuffy sneezing and all that so we're going to get going at that one. Hopefully it'll be done soonish because that's like right above our bed. Gosh I'm ripping out stuff from the ceiling. It's like disgusting. It's all rotten up. It's like ugh. 
Ugh, it stinks. It's like mold kingdom in there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the Rose, rose, rose. So gross. So we're here making another giant hole in our boat. Well, this is the biggest hole we've ever made actually. We're cutting a big triangle here out of the hatch and we're hopefully gonna deal with our water and mold problem. That's some soaking wet plywood, moldy. The wood right underneath the anchor locker is really rotten and pretty moldy. This is terrible. Like, look at it. It's just soft mess. And it actually just comes off with your hands. You can peel it off because it's just so soaked. And, and it actually doesn't go all the way back to the hull, so that's kind of nice. We are officially a boat with a hole. So I think we're going to take this opportunity since we got to replace our anchor locker floor here to just redo the whole anchor locker itself and try to get a little more space out of it at the same time. So yeah, wish us luck. I'm scrubbing our hole in the anchor locker because it's black. Well, it's becoming a little nicer actually. So you might be able to see this impending uh, rain behind me. It's not looking so good. So we're gonna have to tarp off this hole so we don't get uh, all of our nice wood that we're start trying to dry out all wet. All right, well, we got a little heater going on in there. Uh, it's off right now. Gonna pull it out. Uh, try to tarp off the hatch itself with a bit of this plastic wrap. Wanna see something pretty funny? I'm accomplishing two things at once. I'm showering and scrubbing the boat. <laughs> Getting the fiberglass off me and then dry them off the boat. Just about to destroy my bed once again because the water tank is right underneath it and I've got to go unplug the water holes and the vent so that we can put brand new ones. When the boat is a total mess and you're just about to attack a big project, it's nice to get away. Mark and Margaret invited us in their beautiful wooden sailboat named Belaika. It reminded us of how great sailing is and makes all of the work and problems worth it. And it's great to talk with someone and bounce around ideas on how to fix the anchor locker. This was the sail we needed so much to motivate us and to keep on going with even more energy and dedication. I don't know if you can hear me because the win windows are down but it's way too hot to put them up. But we are currently driving to Hamilton to pick up some materials for our latest projects. Uh, we need some epoxy resin and a few other things. So that's where we're going now. Woo! So we got all the goodies from Brewers and we're back at the marina. So tomorrow we're gonna hopefully start the project if it doesn't rain. But with fiberglass you kind of want to have it dry so we'll see. So the struggles of living in a small boat. Alex has to do dishes. Because I washed the dishes, let them to dry on top of the fridge, but now the corn's cooked, so I kind of want to have my butter to put in the corn. And our boat has just been a mess. So there's just tools all over the place, and with the hatch having some water in it, there's like more stuff that was taken out of it. So there's stuff everywhere, it's a mess. But we live in it. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing with the button down below 